Okay, this is video number three. Building my kiln, my power kiln. As you can see, it's all bricked up with refractory brick. 85 or 90 bricks or so, I forget exactly how many. Uh, burner holes all cut. I used the same little saw to cut those burner holes uh, as I did the, um, the fiber board. Just a little green red cutting saw, a little tiny saw. Cuts the fire brick very nice. Stuff is very, very soft. Uh, these are the flame deflectors that I made. Uh, I took the, my refractory cement, cemented two together, let them dry, uh, cut the length on them. Then what I did is I put them in position and I drilled a couple of holes and I just took a couple of concrete nails and used them as pins while the uh, concrete dried. And they set in just like this. If you can see that in position. I'll put the other one in. Slide it in just like that. Put this final brick in. Nice tight fit. There. Yeah. Tell you what, I'll go on the other side so we get a better view. Yeah, see the way that works? Now what I'll do, this will be my chimney box section. Kind of the plate that holds it all together. Okay, and I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same material. Put four inches around the sides. Put this on the top, another identical piece, and fill the whole middle with ceramic fiberboard. And then what I'll do is right before I'm gonna bolt it, bolt this piece to this rail. Right before I bolt it, what I'll do is I'll thread cantle wire through this brick, all the way through here. And that cantle wire will sit on the top or maybe inside. And it'll help and it'll tie this to this. Kind of use it for support. So I think it'll work out pretty good. See how that works there? Nice and flush there. Where it's not flush, I'll just literally sand it off with another brick stuff grinds away very very easily and that's how I did the um, angles okay I think that's gonna work out well those concrete nails that I have there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill deeper in and I'll get some uh, stainless steel bolts and I'll countersink them in there about half an inch or so and then um, cover them up with cover the holes with some more refractory cement and it'll so they'll be pinned in there as well as uh, cemented in case that concrete breaks loose from the heat it'll be kind of pinned in as well so I think that worked out well alright the next clip what I'll do is I'll what I'll do is I'll construct these pieces here I'll construct this piece kind of lay out the parts so you can see how I'm going to do it and I'll lay out the lid I'll cut up the lid I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to use pieces of this material, top and bottom, maybe five inches thick. And I'm going to cut um, my ceramic blanket into strips. And I'll pack it in like, um, like in the book, uh, Self-Reliant Potter, uh, with a couple of pieces of uh, threaded rod. And you'll see how that works. And the burners. <laughs> the burners I'm making, I have a couple of designs this is one of the burners I've made. I'm not quite sure if it's firing how I like it to. It's a variation on um, Mel's 10 buck burner. Uh, just with a elbow basically. Um, and I also have another burner I'm making and I'm going to pick the best out of the two. 
uh, how, are, how you know how are they fire which one fires the best and what I'll do is uh, for the burners I'll, I'll do little videos on those also so you see how I put burners together there's a lot a lot of burner videos on the web but very few that have explanations of every part and how they go together orifice size stuff like that so I'll tell you exactly how I did it so you can it might help you out alright that's it um, see you in the next clip